We're here with Kate and Bran. Kate, we're sorry, you froze for a moment. There. I was like, yeah, I'm thinking about food. Sorry. Exactly. Advice. I know. I'm smelling food. Yeah, over I know. There. Okay, Kate, first, tell me about your beautiful dress. Oh, it's well, gorgeous. This dress is um, it's an original Alexis and Ryan, and it is designed by my best friend Brittany Saberhagen, and it is called um, the Mansion. So you guys can get it online. Nice. Okay. All right. Now, okay. Don't ask me about my dress. Yeah. <laughs> the I truth is, I stole it from Brad. That's, it, is a very, from his closet. it is a very nice shirt, though. I was noticing the design on the front. This one's boss orange. and. Uh, yeah. I mean, you could put a paper bag on this guy and it would look good, right? I think you're right. So yeah, yeah. Just hang on, let me play him for saying Yeah, exactly. He's All really right. good at that. Okay, so that wraps up the fashion corner. Let's talk days of our lives. Yeah. Now, of course, you guys are paired together, which makes me have lots of questions. Like, okay, is there a reason you guys are paired together? Because Quinn's just getting back into the, into Salem. Abigail, who knows what's going to go on with Chad? Because Chad was hanging out with uh, Sunny. So Chad, who knows what's going to happen there? <laughs> so we're like, that, that could be a whole different kind of show. But is, is, there, is there a reason why you guys are paired together as far as your characters? No, not that we know of. Uh, okay. We're just great friends and... Uh, Coming back, is Quinn going to be a good version of Quinn, or is he still up to lots of crafty things? You know, I think he has to use a bit of his, um, you know, past skill to put it in terms of being able to eat, uh, blackmail EJ, which he's already done. But um, <laughs> you know, after that, he's um, really trying to turn over a new leaf, and um, you know, as I've said before, gain acceptance and forgiveness, and uh, really try and be accepted by the people. So. Now I love the scenes that you did with Louise when you when you were on the show before. Yeah, me too, mate. And I'm hoping I'm hoping they still bring her back in some way. I don't know if that will happen, but do you miss her on the set? Oh, absolutely. You guys did so much together. Yeah, she was great. She was a lot of fun to work with and a super generous actress. And um, she's been around. Uh, she's done a lot. Of, she yeah. has a great body of work, and uh, you know it's not very often you get to work with uh, actors like her. Okay. And now Abigail. You were great too. It's good. Exactly. <laughs> Now, Abigail, right now, at least on the shows we're seeing, you're dealing a lot with her dad. Yes. And her dad has a lot of issues, but, you know, she's kind of pissed. Is that going to play out for a while, or are they going to kind of make some fences? I think so. She's angry that her father has left her, but, you know, everything has to come to an end at some point, and you have to sort of call a spade a spade and say, you hurt me, and I hurt you, and I'm sorry, and let's yeah. move on. So, it'll, it'll progress, but it's always, the hurt is always there, I think. Okay. And are Abigail and Ch Chad, are they solid, or is there going to be some bumps in the road coming up? Um, there's definitely some bumps in the road. I think uh, when you have your first love, it's always such a, um, you love so hard that first time, you know, and so there's fallout from that, and, and uh, it'll, you'll, you'll see, it'll all come to fruition soon. Okay. And now we've got Sunny. We hear Will's going to be going through some stuff, so yeah. the gays are coming to Salem. <laughs> Has they, have they put in a gay bar yet in the town square? Any gay bars yet? Well, Quinn's going to be opening one, let's just say. No. No. Quinn will do anything for a buck. Yeah. <laughs> Much like Ren. Uh, I will remember that. No, uh, we're actually both like so, we're so thrilled that they're uh, launching into this gay storyline. I think it's really important and very current. And I think the, the most important message is that it's not a story anymore for people to be gay. Yeah. That's something that's as important as you know any of the other issues that are sure. around right now. Okay. And, and Bren, you know, you're you're getting back on the show now. Yep. You're in an event like this. Is, yep. is this new for you? This kind of event? No, no, no. I've been to a few yeah. events. I uh, okay. went over to uh, South Carolina, Greenville. Uh, there was a lymphoma. 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 Yeah. Is that okay. Yeah, that's what I came to before. Um, what else? There's been one other. Oil can Harry event, is it? Not, not really a new thing for me. So. Okay. All right. Now I have to say, you both look so fit in such great shape. What is what is your guilty pleasure food that you really just even if you know you're going to shirt, take a shirtless scene or a bikini scene? Like, is there something you just can't say no to food wise? What is the um, low carb Briars ice creams, sweet and splendor? I just if I buy the packet, there's like six or eight in the packet. <laughs> I, I have to eat them all in one go. One after the other. I 
can't help it. It's crazy. Well, I love to cook, and I have a really big Italian family, so um, anything with marinara sauce is good for you. Oh my god, you don't look like you come from a big Italian family. Well, look at that. She has a whole kitchen in her dressing room. Do you? Yeah. Like, what well, do you all, want? All the look cars go in there for lunch, and she cooks for us. Yeah. All right, next time I come to the set, next time I come, I want some lasagna or something <laughs> Italian. All right, well, have fun the rest of the day. Good talking to you.